Mike, I didn't notice about you. What's that? That you kind of were in love with disco before you were in love with hip hop. Absolutely, absolutely. My father worked at a, a radio station in New York City, WKTU. Of course, disco 92 KTU. Exactly, exactly. So he would bring home records. And that you know, became, that was one of the, or if not the biggest. Yeah, it was the first. In the country. Yeah, at the time. And, and it, it was originally Mellow Rock, and they, <laughs> that wasn't working. And they, my father was like, we got to switch. And then he started bringing home this music, and I fell in love with it. And then eventually he was like, turn that crap off. And I was like, you brought it home, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, and you know, so he would bring home Chic and, and Tume and, yeah. you know, Tanya Garner and, and you know, it was all that stuff. And it was just became a part of my life. And uh, it did was you, a big, you, you know. Did what? you have the moves? I had a, I had a little two-step, you, you know. A little, two little two step? Step. I'm sure, like, you had a little two-step. I, I wasn't, like, you know, Justin Timberlake or Usher, like, doing spins and I choreographs. Mean, and... Yeah, because for us, like, learning the hustle was required reading, you know what I mean? Exactly. Was, you had to study and come home. My mom would, you know, because they would go to Studio 54 sometimes, so... Your mom get... might have been there with my dad. <laughs> Who knows? Easy how you say that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Easy how you say that. My father was there. They might have danced. They might have shared, shared a dance, there, Latifah. You still got your two-step? I mean, I got you know, a two-step. If you got one, I... I mean... Yeah. <laughs>